Good morning everyone. In this video, we will discuss infiltration index. So, so far we have seen that infiltration rate for a soil at any given time is not constant. So, we see that initially infiltration rate will be high as the rainfall event starts and then slowly as the pores are getting filled, soil is getting moisture. So, the infiltration rate will be less and finally it will achieve a constant value. But for our hydrological calculations that is for the estimation of runoff, it is convenient to use a constant value of infiltration rate. This constant value of infiltration rate is nothing but infiltration index. So here we have two types of index. Each one I will discuss. First is phi index and the second is called W index. So we will see what is phi index. Again, I will say these two indices are used to represent a constant rate of infiltration or an average rate of infiltration. So that we can calculate our losses corresponding to infiltration, corresponding to initial losses and then subtract it from the rainfall, we will get the desired runoff. So we will see phi index is nothing but that value of rainfall or the average value of rainfall intensity above which rainfall is equals to runoff. So phi index gives you that intensity of rainfall above which there will be no losses or there will be absolutely runoff that we will be getting. For example, I am saying that intensity of rainfall is 4 mm per hour and phi index is 5 mm per hour. So what I am trying to say is that for this condition when the intensity of rainfall is less than 5 mm per hour there will be no runoff because all this 4 mm per hour will go into infiltration. So I can also say if the intensity is 4 mm per hour and now phi index is 3 mm per hour. So phi index is that value of rainfall above which you will get runoff. So you will get runoff corresponding to 1 mm. So here we can understand this better with the help of hydrograph which is nothing but intensity of rainfall versus time. So we have a hydrograph something like this say for 3 hours we have a hydrograph of different different intensities. So phi index is that value of rainfall intensity or that value of rainfall above which whatever rainfall will come will be equal to runoff. So this shaded area corresponds to runoff. Now the rainfall which contributes to this runoff is called rainfall axis. And the time for which this rainfall axis occurs or the time duration for which rainfall will be equal to runoff that will be considered as effective time or time of rainfall axis. Now can I say that the area above this phi index in a hydrograph that I got it that it is runoff. So area below this phi index is nothing but corresponds to infiltration. Also we do not consider any other initial losses separately in phi index. So it corresponds to my initial losses also that is depression storage and interception. So phi index in a way also represents the losses not just infiltration depression storage and interception also this w index is a refinement over phi index in this term that w index indicates purely infiltration it will not include all these losses it will separate these two from the rainfall so w index is also similar to phi index just the difference is w index will give you the pure infiltration whereas phi index gives you all the losses that are occurring from the rainfall other than runoff. So this is nothing but phi index I can write it as phi index is nothing but whatever rainfall is occurring minus runoff divided by the time for which this runoff is occurring. So this time is denoted by T. Now to estimate the phi index we have a we have a method we don't have a certain method but we have a trial and error method. So we will check this based on two conditions. What are those two conditions? 
these are those two conditions that is if the intensity of rainfall is less than or equal to 5 index there will be no runoff if the intensity is greater than 5 index there will be runoff so it is easy to understand that 5 index represents that condition or that threshold up to which losses will be there so after this uh, losses are after this losses are overcome from this rainfall only then we will get runoff so for phi index or for runoff to occur in intensity of rainfall should always be greater than phi index so this is the concept with the help of numericals it will be even more clear phi index is an important topic for the exam point of view also so we will discuss in details